On Apple Valley News Now at 6, a new on-ramp for the Information Superhighway will tell you what's being installed in Tyaton. And it's fall, y'all, but it feels a lot more like summer. Our fantastic stretch of weather continues. I've got all the details on my first alert for forecast. Plus, it might represent the largest healthcare-related strike in the country, and workers in Oregon are now part of the job action. This is Apple Valley News Now at 6 on your side. Thanks for joining us. I'm Riley Fitzgerald in for Alyssa Warner. The West Richland woman accused in the ambush murder of her ex-husband in Florida appeared in court this morning. 36-year-old Shanna Gardner is charged with first-degree murder and other charges in the killing of Jared Bridegan in 2022. We told you earlier this week Governor Inslee has signed an extradition warrant from the governor of Florida requesting she be returned there to face the charges. We learned this morning in court the paperwork on that extradition warrant hasn't been filed yet, so Judge Ruff could not determine its validity at this time. The hearing was continued to later this month, so the proper file work, uh, paperwork could be filed. Learn more about, about this case at applevalleynewsnow.com. We also have a follow-up to a hardware store robbery in Sela that resulted in precautionary school lockdowns Wednesday. Around 12.30 this morning, Yakima County Sheriff's deputies and Yakima Police located the suspect vehicle. Sela police say the suspect didn't uh, stop, which started a pursuit. The pursuit ended when law officers used spike strips to stop the suspect's vehicle. They captured a 19-year-old Yakima County man who police say is the suspect in the hardware store robbery. He's been booked into the Yakima County Jail. During Wednesday's robbery, police say the suspect showed a gun when hardware store employees confronted him. Washington Governor Jay Inslee now asking the president to make a major disaster declaration for the Gray and Oregon Road fires. Both wildfires destroyed more than 250 homes in Spokane County. If approved, Washington state could have access to a wide range of federal assistance programs. Governor Inslee also requested the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and Environmental Protection Agency assist with debris management and disposal with a focus on preventing deb debris and contaminants from impacting local waterways. Senators Patty Murray and Maria Cantwell and Representative uh, Kathy McMorris Rogers sent a letter to the president supporting the governor's request, reading in part, the events triggered by the Gray and Oregon Road fire are quickly exhausting the already strained capacity and resources of local communities and state agencies. Let's talk about the weather. Stacy Lee joins us now for your first alert weather forecast. I don't know about you, but I am loving this. Here's our Dust Devil Giza Sky Cam tonight. Beautiful, clear skies. It is gorgeous this evening. 76 degrees or humidity at 47%. Our sunset tonight at 629. Remember, we're losing two minutes of daylight each and every day. Now, winds have been an issue uh, pretty much all week long in the Yakima and Kittitas Valley. Nice and calm tonight, even down the Columbia River Gorge into the Columbia Basin. Here's your uh, planner. Again, those temperatures uh, cooling down quickly as the sun goes down in Yakima, down in the 60s. We'll stay in the 70s through 7 in the Tri-Cities and eventually make our way down into the 60s. Walla Walla again hitting those 60s as soon as the sun sits and down to 58 by 9 o'clock tonight. Here's what's coming up in the next couple of days. Again, clear, uh, clear and calm tonight. Say hello to the 80s. They're here for the weekend. It's going to be beautiful weather all weekend long. And then we have a big change transitioning late Sunday into Monday with more rain headed our way next week. I'll get to all the details in your first alert full weather forecast. Riley. Thank you, Stacy. Now a follow up on that plan. Uh, crash of a small plane in Oregon. The family of the woman who survived the crash now asking for prayers for 20 year old Emily Hurd of Spokane. Cell phone video showed the plane spiraling out of the sky right before it slammed into a home in Newburgh, southwest of Portland. Friends describe Emily as someone who loves the outdoors and never shies away from an adventure. She was on track to one day become a commercial pilot with Alaska Airlines, a career she's proud of and excited to pursue. Josiah Neal has been friends with Emily since they were kids. He says when he first found out about the crash, he was shocked. Yeah, you know, at first I was like, oh, of course she survived. And then the more, more I thought about it, I was like, oh, wow, that's... That's truly just a gift from God. God has a plan for her. And On social media, Emily's family says she has gone 
undergone emergency surgery to fix her broken back and is still under sedation. They're asking for prayers for her recovery. Also on board that plane when it crashed, a student pilot and an instructor from a Hillsborough, Oregon pilot academy. The parents of Barrett Bav Bavacqua says he wanted to become uh, a pilot. The experience of the pilots, uh, what was going on with the flight track information. So, uh, I, and It's still unclear exactly what caused the crash. A drop in U.S. oil prices Wednesday, they dropped 5.6% to just over $84 a barrel. That marks the largest single day drop in a year. Crude fell even further today, hitting 82 bucks a barrel, a five week low for oil prices. Experts predict even steeper price drops. So how will it impact gas prices? The president of the consulting firm Lippo Oil Associates sees gas prices dropping to 350 a gallon in the next few weeks. A chief analyst with the Oil Price Information Service foresees a 325 price point by the end of the month. Of course, those are the national price forecasts. Washington prices remain higher than the rest of the nation in part due to the state's gas tax. Washington state's average remains at 510 a gallon. Tri-Cities drivers pay 494. Yakima drivers pay a little less at 485. Walla Walla drivers pay closer to the state average at 509. Simply Fiber launched a new fiber optic network in Titan today, providing fiber to the people who didn't have the option before. The service, starting at $20 a month with no annual contract plus free or reduced options, available through the FCC's Affordable Connectivity Program. The company has already covered areas of Yakima and Natchez. Now over 300 addresses near the heart of Titan have access to high-speed internet. It's great for, this, for the residents that are there now. They're going from something that was probably slower than they wanted, didn't have the, re the reliability that they're looking for. You can't have multiple devices streaming at the same time, all those things that, that other folks are used to. To find out if there's a high-speed internet connection available in your area, you can go to the Zipply Fiber website. In health news, a new study finds weight loss drugs could cause serious health issues. The study examined popular injected medications like Wagovi, Ozempic, among others. Researchers from the University of British Columbia say the drugs can cause digestive issues which include stomach paralysis, pancreatitis, and bowel obstructions. The cases are rare, but tens of millions of people take the drugs. The study in the journal JAMA uses a random sample from more than 16 million insurance claims. It's National Depression Screening Day. A new research has shined a light on the importance of properly diagnosing mental health conditions to help prevent suicide. Researchers at Ohio State uh, College of Medicine and Wesleyan University began studying patient screenings at military primary care clinics. Originally, they believed traditional screening for suicidal thoughts would be most effective at determining which patients would be at risk for suicide. However, that's not what they found. The key finding was that the most effective way um, to identify patients who would eventually attempt suicide was uh, to screen them for depression. Primary care healthcare providers should really be focusing on um, identifying patients who have depression and then that might serve as a gateway for uh, determining who might need additional treatment and intervention to prevent suicide. Researchers would like to study civilians in other healthcare settings to see if their findings are replicated. And a reminder, if you or someone you know needs help, call or text the National Suicide and Crisis Lifeline at 988. Growing concerns tonight about a widespread shortage of chemotherapy drugs. That, according to a survey out today by the National Comprehensive Cancer Network. Overall, 86% of surveyed cancer centers reported a lack of at least one type of oncology medication. Nearly all of the centers surveyed reported being able to treat every patient who needed the drugs, despite a lowered supply. The White House said last month, the United States shortage of cancer drugs is due to manufacturing and supply chain issues. A ribbon cutting at a new Kennewick business, Nicole Green holds the title of nurse practitioner and now owner of Revive Wellness. Nicole says she struggled for a very long time trying to get her health care providers to listen to her and address her concerns. As a result from her personal experiences and her own health, 
With her own health, she found her passion in providing services to help those that are experiencing the same issues. Her wellness center offers weight loss treatments, neurotoxins, IM boosters, IV therapy, and much more. I'm just super excited to really be able to give back patients their health and, and let them advocate for themselves and listen to them and give that control back because I feel like the insurance has really taken a lot of that away from our patients. And One, two, Nicole says she wants in the near future to expand her services to make sure patients get the care they need. A reminder, tonight The Golden Bachelor airs on Apple Valley News Now and ABC at 8. That means you can join the Apple Valley News Now Golden Bachelor Watch Party featuring our own Stacey Lee. Join us for the viewing party at Twigs Martini Bar and Bistro in Kennewick. The expensive challenges of feeding and clothing children. The new venue with items for kids has opened up in Kennewick. That's coming up. Plus, pumpkins, a pumpkin patch, and even pumpkin donuts, where you can have fall fun on a farm that's been around for more than a century. And your visit to local farms will be bathed in golden sunlight. Stacy Lee is tracking some fantastic conditions. Her first alert forecast is next on Apple Valley News Now at 6. Welcome to Tony's Big Cheese Pizza. How may I help you? A large pepperoni pizza, please. Every pizza is made fresh from scratch daily using our family dough and sauce recipe. You'll love Tony's Big Cheese Pizza in the plaza at 24 and now pale. Who is Culligan? Your local water experts since 1936. The world's most efficient water softener. Safer drinking water in every glass. Convenient, reliable delivery. Industry-leading technology. Here for every water worry. The road can be a crazy place. Pothole! That's why Let's Drop Tires fixes brakes, steering, and more. And those guys don't. Ugh, keep driving. I'm just glad Let's Drop puts my safety first. So I can backseat drive with confidence. During our fall tire sales, save up to $250 on a set of four select tires. Les Schwab Tires, doing the right thing since 1952. Thank you for getting groceries, me. Of course. Happy to help. Will Medicare cover any of these bills? I thought it would, but it doesn't. We'll get through this. I will always be here for you. I know. But what about you? I don't ever want you to be in this situation. Don't worry, Dad. With Walk Cares, I'm earning long-term care benefits with each paycheck. That money will be there when I need it. Find out how the Walk Cares Fund can help. The savings continue with Bymart's latest savings book. See why over 1 million membership families save more at Bymart. It's packed with 16 pages of store-wide savings, including sporting goods, Halloween candy and decor, and must-have pantry essentials. Bymart's one-time $5 membership unlocks a lifetime of savings, and our employee owners are here to serve you. Save now with our latest savings book at Bymart, your Northwest employee-owned membership store. The next generation of streaming is here. Introducing Spectrum One Stream with internet, advanced Wi-Fi, mobile, and now TV. With the all new Zumo Stream Box, it's streaming simplified. Get Spectrum One Stream with fast and reliable internet for $49.99 a month, free advanced Wi-Fi, a free unlimited mobile line, and a free Zumo Stream Box when you add Spectrum TV. Go to spectrum.com slash stream, a Spectrum store, or call 833-976-4999. An accident can shatter your life. At Tamaki Law, we put your life back together. When a client has been seriously hurt, they need a lot of help. We understand that. Their only job is to get better. Our job is to take care of the rest. That's why we work hard and fight for the justice they deserve. If you've been seriously injured, call Tamaki Law and get your life back. Welcome to Tony's Big Cheese Pizza. How may I help you? A large Mexican pizza, please. Every pizza is made fresh from scratch daily using our family dough and sauce recipe. You'll love Tony's Big Cheese Pizza in the plaza at 24 and now pale. Portions of Apple Valley News Now, sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. 
Welcome back everyone. It's pumpkin spice season and Thompson's Farm in Natchez has everything from a pumpkin patch to pumpkin donuts to a pumpkin cannon. But Apple Valley News Now's Emily Goodell tells us to the Thompson family, the farm is more than just a spot to spend a fun fall weekend. That's where all the big guys are. JL Thompson is the fifth generation in his family to run Thompson's farm in the past 125 years. I have a little boy. Do you think he's, he's going to go into the family business? <laughs> That's my joke. I hope he's not too smart to farm. You know. <laughs> his parents sold fruit off the farm for years. You want to go up to the apples? Sure. We can, let's see, uh, we can walk this way. Then they had the opportunity to get that building down there where we have the fruit stand now. They started the pumpkin patch, I think a couple years after I graduated high school. You'd be amazed at how much smaller it was just 10 years ago. This year, 6,000 pumpkin plants started in pots, then planted in the ground. Some jack-o'-lanterns. You can go in here and grab a pumpkin and Skedaddle. Plus other varieties like Cinderella's and warty goblins. You know, interesting looking stuff that we plant specifically, you know, for the weirdness of them. Surrounded by sunflowers. Because it looks cool, purely for aesthetics. Corn around the corner. Last year our corn maze was about an acre. This year it's about three. I just kind of randomly start mowing tunnels through there and <laughs> when the corn's about knee high. <laughs> a kid's area and apple picking, hay rides and pumpkin donuts. We've got lots of people that come just get the donuts and leave. <laughs> they don't, they're not even here for the experience, they're just here for the donuts. I always tell people I got a weird job. Full of pig races go, go! and pumpkin cannons. <laughs> They're air-operated pumpkin cannons. I've got two of them here. Shoots between 10 and uh, 15 pounds of air pressure. This big one's made from an old propane tank. The other one is built from a uh, orchard squirrel. My dad built them both um, 20 some odd years ago. I kind of joke, we started out as farmers and kind of became carnies, you know, but <laughs> you do what you got to do to keep the farm alive. Now and hopefully with his son for years to come. In Natchez, Emily Goodell, Apple Valley News Now. Thompson's Farm is located at 9535 Old Natchez Highway and is open from 9 to 4 every weekend in October. From Apple Valley News Now, First Alert Weather with Stacy Lee. And it's going to be a glorious weekend to hit up a pumpkin patch. It's going to be beautiful weather all weekend long. It is gorgeous tonight. Dust Devil Geese is sky cam tonight. 76 degrees. Look at that. Our winds are light at 6 miles per hour. Our sunset is rapidly approaching here at 629. Satellite and radar, again, that ridge of high pressure, that's what's keeping us dry, warm, and sunny. As you can see, there's a pretty substantial system moving into Canada, up through Alaska, and then this ridge of high pressure bringing it right down to the middle of the country. And again, they're going to see a big cool down. It's been a heat wave for most of the country, but not today or tomorrow, I should say, as that ridge of high pressure brings that cool air right on down across Montana into Idaho, Colorado, and again, Minneapolis. These areas could even start to see some snowfall from this cool down so pretty substantial we're going to stay dry and warm again thanks to that ridge of high pressure and that will continue to keep us good but this guy right here that ridge of low pressure it's going to move on up and then we'll start to see the jet stream change and that will bring the cooler air and moisture that's going to start heading our way next week but for now let's enjoy this it's going to be well above the average for this time of year 80 degrees we're in the upper 70s and then here comes the little Slight cool down on Monday and then drastically dropping Tuesday and Wednesday. And again, that's going to be that cold air moving down from Canada. Taking a look through the weekend again, those temperatures just lovely in the Yakima Valley. Then the big cool down coming next week. So get out and enjoy. Now tonight we're going to cool down, especially after dark. Let's take a look at our overnight lows. We'll stay at 50 tonight in Yakima, 47 in Toppenish and Sunnyside, 48 overnight in Ellensburg. Into the Columbia Basin, those temperatures looking good there as well. Overnight lows mostly in the 40s. We'll see 50 tonight in Hermiston. So a great evening. Do a little stargazing because the skies will be nice and clear. Looking towards the foothills of the Blues, Walla Walla, Milton, Freewater, Dayton, and Pendleton in the upper 40s and low 50s tonight. Some more sunshine headed our way with temperatures hitting the 80s. Say hello 80s. They're going to be here on and off throughout the weekend and pretty close all through the region. So just lovely weather. Enjoy because it's going to change again, like we said, drastically next week. Planning your day tomorrow. It's going to be nice. A little cool out the door. 70s though by noon and upper 70s 
70s in the uh, late afternoon. In the Tri-Cities tomorrow, 50 out the door. You'll hit 70 by noon and those warm temperatures at 80 at 4 o'clock. For Walla Walla, again, lots of sunshine there. Clear skies, great for scar, uh, stargazing and beautiful temperatures. Let's take a look at our short term forecast. This is what the weekend's looking like. It's going to be great all weekend with those overnight lows cooling down nicely. So big drastic change, almost 30 degrees from the daytime highs to the overnight lows. Tri cities again, we're seeing those 80 degree temps. I imagine a lot of people will be out on the Columbia River this weekend soaking that in and temperatures overnight in the 40s and 50s. Walla Walla, lots of sunshine here as well. 40s and 50s. Lots more to come. I've got your reason to smile coming up here in just a few minutes. Riley. Thank you, Stacy. It's rising like a hot air balloon. You won't believe how high the Powerball jackpot has gotten. Plus, learn about what's the difference but about uh, what learn about what's different about the new store with children's items that opened up in Kennewick. You're watching Apple Valley News Now at 6. Spicy chicken McNuggets, breaded in tempura and made with cayenne, are just the right amount of fire emoji, chili emoji, grinning face with sweat emoji. And wouldn't it be double fire emoji if they came back? Spicy chicken McNuggets, they're back. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. My mom hired bath fitter to make me a new bath. My friend Jimmy said that when he got a new bath, it took forever. Jimmy didn't have to take a bath for a month. I didn't even get to miss one bath. It's just not fair. Bath Fitter will remodel your bath in as little as one day. We've got over 2 million satisfied customers and 35 years experience. Call now or visit bathfitter.com for a free in-home consultation. Welcome back to Sam's Hot Takes. What's hot now? Spectrum One. It's internet, unlimited mobile, advanced Wi-Fi, at an amazing value. Get Spectrum Internet for $49.99 a month, plus advanced Wi-Fi and your first line of unlimited mobile free for 12 months. Call 833-948-4999. And this is big. Ta-da! Zumo Streambox. Now add Spectrum TV to upgrade to Spectrum One Stream and get a Zumo Streambox free for 12 months. It brings together all the entertainment I want in one place. And this voice remote lets me search across live TV and my favorite streaming apps so I can find exactly what I want, fast and easy. It's streaming simplified. Get internet for $49.99 a month, plus advanced Wi-Fi, and your first line of unlimited mobile free for 12 months. Plus add Spectrum TV and get a free Zumo stream box for 12 months. Call 833-948-4999, visit Spectrum.com, or stop by a Spectrum store today. My hot take? This is like nothing you've used before. Give yourself that new car feeling with a detail from ProClean Auto Detail Systems. Details start at just $125 and we'll make your car look and feel like new. Gift certificates are available. Forget the rest and come to the best. ProClean Auto Detail Systems. A successful real estate transaction requires a team of professionals. At Windermere, our team consists of experienced realtors to guide you through the process. With Windermere on your side, find and confidence in your real estate journey. David, did you remember to get me an anniversary present? Anniversary? Of course, it's Mattress Depot USA's anniversary, and we're having a gigantic sale. Take advantage of our best prices of the year. And interest-free financing. David, you do know anniversaries only come once a year, right? Yes, and if you miss ours, you'll, you'll be, be sorry. sorry. Low prices every day, Mattress Depot USA. If something's missing in your morning without a McDonald's breakfast, then try a new bagel sandwich. With fluffy egg, melty cheese, and your choice of a steak patty with grilled onion, or bacon, or sausage, well, those will fill the void deliciously. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Welcome back, everyone. After a year in the making, Once Upon a Child has officially opened their doors today. Once Upon a Child is a unique retail store full of clothing for children, toys, strollers, and much more. Owner of the store, Mitchell Colton, says he understands how expensive it can get purchasing everything new. That's why he and his wife decided to open this store to help the community and themselves as they also have a child of their own. We're just super excited to be here. Um, you know, we know that uh, kids' clothes can get really expensive with having a kid our own, on our own and, um, you know, they grow out of stuff so fast. So. We're just happy to be able to provide this for the community and it seems like, you know, we really needed it. 
from today through the weekend, they will be having sales and will hand out gift cards to the families that stop by. Once Upon a Child is located at 731 North Columbia Center Boulevard, the same plaza as the trampoline park. Entertaining children is no inexpensive venture. Now Disney is offering discounts for kids, but the dates are important. That's new tonight at 630. But first, Stacy Lee has your reason to smile. That's right, your reason to smile is a nice photo of Mount Adams from the old Inland Empire Road. Thanks to our friend Diana Tuck of Prosser. Thanks for sending that in, Diana. Remember to get your photo featured. All you have to do is get outside, snap it, and send it in to S. Lee at applevalleynewsnow.com. It's right there on your screen. Reason to Smile is brought to you by West Richland Family Dental and Prime Dental in Pasco. Portions of Apple Valley News Now, sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. Yeah! Carl's Jr.'s new Big Char Chili Burger is big on charbroiled flavor, big on smoky sweet heat with a whole charred Anaheim chili, and big on savings with a Big Char Chili Combo for just $7.99. The White Card, a powerful resource for former Hanford and DOE employees. If you worked in the area and have come down with cancer, lung disease, Parkinson's, or renal failure, you may be eligible for financial compensation and health care services. A simple phone call can get the process started. Atomic Home Health. Don't wait. Call today. In paradise, love is growing, rivals are showing. I have zero respect for you. None. And minds are blowing. Hannah Brown? Hurricane Hannah is about to hit the beach in paradise. Why is she here? New Bachelor in Paradise, tonight on ABC. Are your closets overflowing? Is your garage filled with things you no longer need? When you donate to Goodwill, you're not just clearing space in your home. You're creating opportunities for those in need. By donating or shopping at Goodwill, you actively contribute to local employment opportunities and help individuals find work within your community. So donate your gently used items to Goodwill, and together we can transform lives and build a brighter future. Goodwill, your Halloween headquarters. Our customers depend on us for everything. We grow well over 200 different crop varieties and there's tremendous diversity within our trade territory. We spend a lot of time and work a lot with our customers on enhancing and utilization of the products that John Deere offers. From a technology perspective, we do what we say every single day. Wait, hold up. DQ put fries and onion rings in a chicken strip basket? Did you know this? Oh, of course you did. It's sitting right in front of you. Sorry. I mean, you got fries and onion rings together. Is this for real? Hey, baby, wait. Oh, yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it just got really real. Grab a chicken strip and fry rings basket. Okay, just one. Just one. DQ, happy tastes good. Get it delivered at DQ.com. Every day is different here at Ben Franklin Transit. With over 400 vehicles ranging from vans to 40-foot coaches, it takes a skilled workforce to keep our fleet running smoothly. We're looking for mechanics and equipment service workers to join the Ben Franklin Transit maintenance team. With unmatched benefits and generous paid time off, we care about our employees on and off the lot. If you're interested, please apply online at bft.org slash careers and join the team that keeps the Tri-Cities moving. I'm Buzz the Bee from the Painting Bees. I'm a local bee. I started painting houses, and here I am. So what do we do? We're a local painting company. We paint exterior, we do interior painting, and cabinetry as well. And we're here to take care of everybody, even the DIYers. And so why shouldn't you do this by yourself? Because of our combined 15 years of experience painting homes in the Tri-Cities area. So if you're interested in a free estimate, visit our website or call us at 509-591-8160. Yeah! Carl's Jr.'s new Big Char Chili Burger is big on charbroiled flavor, big on smoky sweet heat with a whole charred Anaheim chili, and big on savings with a Big Char Chili Combo for just $7.99. Yeah. Unbelievable, no one last night had all the winning numbers in the Powerball drawing. Incredibly, the jackpot rolls over now worth $1.4 billion. The next drawing is Saturday night. Meanwhile, a $350 million Mega Millions jackpot is tomorrow evening. Next, breaking news, a big loss for professional football. 
Plus, plans to construct a border a border call caused some outrage during the Trump administration. Now the Biden administration is doing something similar. Also, workers in Oregon walk off the job as part of a national strike against a health care provider. The news at 6.30 starts right now. This is Apple Valley News Now at 6.30 on your side. Breaking news at 6.30, Football Hall of Famer Dick Buckus has died. Buckus was a first-term All-Pro selection five times and an eight-time Pro Bowl honoree. He was elected to the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1979. Buckus was also known for his efforts off the field to curb the influence of performance-enhancing drugs in sports. According to CNN, a family statement says he died peacefully in his sleep at home. Dick Buckus was 80 years old. The Biden administration approving the construction of a border wall in South Texas amid the surge of migrants straining resources from the border to major cities. The Department of Homeland Security waiving federal laws to make way for the construction using funds from a congressional appropriation in 2019. The move stunning some Democrats and drawing criticism from environmental ad advocates. ABC's Melissa Adon with reaction from the president. The Biden administration is waiving more than two dozen federal laws to allow the construction of a border wall in South Texas, as more cities along the border and in the north struggle to handle the influx of migrants coming from Latin America. The new border wall construction approved in South Texas to cover roughly 20 miles where the wall was left incomplete, the decision marking President Biden's first use of a sweeping executive power. The Department of Homeland Security says this is not a policy decision. It was appropriated during the prior administration in 2019, and the government is legally required to utilize these funds for their appropriated purpose, adding the construction will include the installation of detection technology, lighting, and access roads. In 2020, President Biden strongly criticized then-President Trump's border policy and promised, if elected, not to build another foot of the wall. Money was appropriated for the border wall. I tried to get them to reappropriate, to redirect that money. They didn't. They wouldn't. Do you believe the border wall works? No. September marked the highest number of migrant encounters at the U.S.-Mexico border so far this year, with Border Patrol apprehending more than 200,000. U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken discussing their concerns during meetings with Mexican and U.S. officials in Mexico City. We'll discuss how we can continue to enhance border and port security while facilitating legitimate travel and trade between us. But we want to make sure that our border is also safe and secure. Environmental advocates say the border structures will run through public lands, habitats of endangered plants and animal species. Let's talk weather. Stacy Lee joins us now with your first alert weather forecast. It's been beautiful weather. It is take the car down if you have a convertible or open that sunroof. It's going to be nice right now. 76 degrees in the Columbia Basin and Tri-Cities. Winds are light at 6 miles per hour and our sun is just starting to set right now. Here's the temperature trend again. We dropped down pretty quickly after dark. We're going to drop down to 48 tonight uh, overnight and then gradually climb up to close to 80 degrees tomorrow afternoon in Yakima. Again, a nice little cool down into the 50s and then right back up tomorrow afternoon. Nothing but clear sky. Lots of sunshine coming our way. Now, if you're heading out of town this weekend, it's going to be great in Seattle. Look at those temperatures again. A few clouds, but in the 70s, beautiful weekend in Seattle. Moving into Portland this weekend, a little bit warmer there. You'll see those 80s, nice and clear sunshine. Overnight lows, very comfortable. And if you're heading up to Spokane this weekend, again, a very nice weekend there as well with temperatures in the 70s, close to 80 degrees. It's also a great weekend to head to the Cascade Mountains to check out the fall foliage. Again, we're at peak color season right now. It's going to really intensify next week, but this weekend with the weather just right, not going to be uh, raining at all. I should be heading up to the mountains this weekend. So more uh, coming up with your first alert full weather forecast. Riley. Thank you, Stacy. Attorneys for former President Trump once again asking for a federal judge to delay the trial regarding his handling of classified documents. The former president stands accused of criminally mishandling sensitive national security secrets at his Florida residence after he left office. In a court filing Wednesday, Trump's attorneys cited issues over the access to materials in the case. They wrote that 
discovery failures by special counsel Jack Smith's office weren't pushing back the trial until at least mid-November. It's at least the second request by the Trump team to move the trial date. In July, lawyers for the former president also asked Judge Eileen Cannon to delay the trial until after the 2024 presidential election. For now, the trial is set to begin in May after several presidential primaries have taken place, but potentially before a Republican nominee is picked. Now to the ongoing crisis on Capitol Hill. The House of Representatives remains paralyzed following the unprecedented ouster of former Speaker Kevin McCarthy. With the chamber now in recess until next week, many House Republicans remain furious with the handful of hardline members responsible for booting McCarthy. All this as the government inches closer to yet another shutdown deadline. ABC's Ike Jaji has the latest. The country is a little more than a month away from another potential government shutdown following the historic ouster of former Speaker Kevin McCarthy. The House of Representatives remains without a speaker and its halls empty as lawmakers took the rest of the week off until Tuesday. Is there any guidance you can give folks about what happens next? I'm sorry, I can't at this point. The current power struggle within the GOP between its most far-right members and a majority of Republicans, leaving the House rudderless, unable to take up legislation or perform the most basic functions in the House until a new speaker is elected. We need to change the poisonous atmosphere in Washington. You know, we have strong disagreements, but we need to stop seeing each other as enemies. If Congress does not reach a deal to fund the government by November 17th, an estimated 3.5 million federal workers will lose pay, including 2 million active duty members of the military. Who can unite our team? I think I can do that. Representative Jim Jordan, chairman of the House Judiciary Committee and a close ally of former President Donald Trump, has announced that he's a candidate for speaker, along with current majority leader in the House, Steve Scalise. Both lawmakers say they are confident they can unite Republicans and sources tell ABC News both of them will be more skeptical of continued support for Ukraine moving forward. If you can tell us what the goal is, how's the money being spent? How, how can we account for that? The, I think the American people are entitled to know the answer to do, those two questions before we continue to send their hard-earned money to uh, protect Ukraine's border when we have what's happening on our border. Many House Republicans have discussed punishing and in some cases even expelling some of the eight members who helped oust McCarthy. The soonest opportunity will come Tuesday when Republicans return for a conference meeting to try and rally around one candidate for speaker. New unemployment claims remained steady last week. According to the Department of Labor, there were 207,000 new applications last week. That's down 2,000 claims from the prior week's revised total. Weekly jobless claims remain below historic and pre-pandemic averages, showing the continued strength of the job market. Wall Street analysts also expect the U.S.'s unemployment rate to fall in tomorrow's jo uh, jobs report. Kaiser Permanente workers in Oregon joined the nationwide strike that began this week. Union workers walked off the job in Clackamas County. They joined a total of 75,000 Kaiser workers across the country who went on strike. Workers in Oregon say patients say they have been short-staffed and that patients have expressed frustration over wait times. Kaiser says its current offer includes a $21 minimum wage in Oregon and Washington with 12.5% wage increases over four years. No workers in Washington state have joined the strike. Striking Kaiser employees who work across several states are represented by a coalition of eight unions that comprise 40% of Kaiser's total staff. Ivan Rodriguez joins reports. Healthcare workers are on the picket lines across the country fighting for better pay and benefits, particularly in a state with high cost of living like California, where most of the 75,000 striking Kaiser Permanente workers walked off the job Wednesday. We don't want to see nurses sleeping in their cars because they have to travel two hours to get home because they can't afford the cost of living in California. The union is asking for across-the-board raises, job protections against outsourcing and subcontracted workers, updates to employees' retiree medical benefits, and more notice when people working remotely are asked to return to the office, among other demands. The strike is intended to last three days, 
However, a longer, stronger strike may come in November if a deal between the coalition and Kaiser is not reached after this effort, according to communications from the largest union in the coalition. We don't feel that Kaiser executives are listening to the frontline workers. We don't believe that they really hear us about this staffing crisis that needs to be fixed immediately. The walk-off comes at a time of elevated labor activity across the country, when several large-scale strikes have paralyzed companies and entire industries in recent months. While Kaiser admits to the difficult challenge of filling health care jobs, the company says it has hired more than 50,000 workers since 2022 and pays as much as 20 percent more than competing health systems. I'm Ivan Rodriguez reporting. The strike hits when many nursing schools can't accept new students. The reason? Not enough nursing training instructors, according to the American Association of Colleges of Nurses. More than 78,000 qualified applicants were turned away last year. Even in schools that have enough nursing faculty, there are often not enough clinical placements for existing students. In hospitals, those who train new nurses have strict limits on how many students they can supervise at a time. The situation is further aggravated by the loss of nursing staff due to burnout as a result of the pandemic. More than $26 million from the Department of Health and Human Services aims to train more nursing faculty to help address the issue. It didn't last long. The Girl Scouts make a decision to discontinue one type of its cookies. Find out which one coming up. And enjoy these outstanding conditions while you can. Stacy Lee is tracking your first alert forecast. That's next on Apple Valley News Now at 630. Portions of Apple Valley News Now, sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. At Bruce Heating and Air, your comfort is our business. With over 30 years of professional HVAC experience for residential and commercial properties, you can rest assured your heating and air system is in good hands. In addition to providing quality heating, air conditioning, ventilation, and installation services, Bruce Heating and Air also houses a full-service sheet metal fabrication shop. Now, through December 31st, receive rebates up to $1,400 off a new Daikin Fit system when you finance for Bruce Heating and Air. Terms and conditions apply. See dealer for details. Stan, where's Alice? She's supposed to stay with us. Oh, shoot. Where could she? Hey, everybody. I'm Alice. I'm new here. The new zipline ride looks so fun. You go back and forth. Awesome. And we've lost control of the Alice situation. Triple Play has fun for everyone, including the brand new zip line ride. And it's all attached to a cozy hotel. I mean, she's a natural spokesaur who isn't tempted to eat anyone. Uh, you know, because she's an herbivore. Every 15 minutes, someone is involved in a semi-truck collision in the U.S. Whatever the cause, big trucks mean big crashes, resulting in serious, even fatal injuries, large medical bills, and loss of wages. If you've been injured in a crash with a big rig, call Abeta Nelson Injury Law today. We've handled the most big truck accidents in central Washington over the last 40 years, recovering millions for our clients. Abeta Nelson, we take your injury personally. The savings continue with Bymart's latest savings book. See why over 1 million membership families save more at Bymart. It's packed with 16 pages of store-wide savings, including sporting goods, Halloween candy and decor, and must-have pantry essentials. Bymart's one-time $5 membership unlocks a lifetime of savings, and our employee owners are here to serve you. Save now with our latest savings book at Bymart, your Northwest employee-owned membership store. Vegas action is closer than you think. The fun is waiting for you at Knob Hill Casino. Come in and pull up a chair at your choice of blackjack, pie gal, heads up hold'em, or high card flush, and play with the friendliest dealers in town. Join our players club to take your game to the next level and earn rewards for food, bowling, prizes, and cash. There's always a spot for you at Knob Hill Casino where the locals play. I'm Buzz the Bee from the Painting Bees. I'm a local bee, I started painting houses, and here I am. So what do we do? We're a local painting company. We paint exterior, we do interior painting, and cabinetry as well. And we're here to take care of everybody, even the DIYers. And so why shouldn't you do this by yourself? Because of our combined 15 years of experience painting homes in the Tri-Cities area. So if you're interested in a free estimate, visit our website or call us at 509-591-8160. 
This 11-year-old is so crazy cute and so crazy talented. And tomorrow morning, he's giving your weekend a mariachi jumpstart you can't miss. Plus, Jennifer Garner is here live tomorrow on... Good morning, America! Welcome back, everyone. Purchasing a home, getting harder for prospective home buyers. In fact, home affordability has reached its lowest level in decades. Today, Freddie Mac reported that U.S. mortgage rates have climbed to 7.49% this week, up from 7.31% last week. Freddie Mac's chief economist says the jump is due to several factors, including shifts in inflation, the job market, and uncertainty about the Federal Reserve's next move. Higher rates, along with rising home prices, are making for a 20% drop in the pace of home sales compared to this time last year. A new study finds an increase in cities constructed in high flood risk areas. According to the report, settlements in flood prone areas grew by 122% since 1985. Researchers looked at global flood hazard and annual settlement footprint data to understand the populations most affected by flood risk. They found that as the world's settlements grew by 85%, urbanization happened much faster in high hazard flood zones. They note vulnerability to coastal flooding is increasing at the fastest pace. You can find the study in the journal Nature. A heads up to anyone negatively impacted by loud noises and explosions. According to a post by the Prosser Police Facebook page, you can expect fireworks after Friday night's homecoming football game at Prosser High School. They may begin to go off around 9.30 p.m. From Apple Valley News Now, First Alert Weather with Stacy Lee. Well, it's a lovely evening outside. Dust Devil Giza Sky Cam. This is the perfect time. The sun's just setting to go grab those weather photos. Get outside and snap them. Send them in to me. 76 degrees right now. Our winds are light at 6 miles per hour. Humidity at 47%. So beautiful evening. Ridge of high pressure is all to thank for that beautiful weather. And that's going to stay in place at least for a little bit. Again, it's nice and clear all down the west coast. There is a big system brewing up north. It's uh, getting some cold air picking up in Alaska, coming across Canada, and then swooping right down to the middle portion of the United States. In fact, it's dropping those temperatures to very cold. We're going to start to see some snow developing near the Great Lakes. And again, this cold air pushing down into Montana, Idaho, Colorado, and even Utah. So again, we're looking for some snow coming out of that system, but we'll continue to stay nice and warm. Again, that rich high pressure moving up, and then we have a low sitting out off the coast. This high pressure pulling down, bringing that cool air, like I said earlier, that ridge of low pressure making its way up top. And then we're going to see a big change coming to the West Coast as we, uh, well, at least to the Pacific Northwest as we get cooler temperatures. So enjoy this nice stretch of warm weather into the weekend. Look at that through Sunday. Temperatures close to 80 degrees, well above the average. Things start to shift on Monday, and then those temperatures drop down to the cooler side Tuesday and Wednesday. Yakima, again, lovely weather, beautiful sunny skies, nice and clear, and then the big drop off starts to happen with temperatures getting below the average uh, by nearly 10 degrees in just a couple of days. So a big change coming next week. Our temperatures tonight, nice outside, 40s and 50s. 50 tonight in Yakima, 47 for Sunnyside and Toppenish. 48 tonight in Ellensburg, Columbia Basin, Tri-Cities area. Very nice. Hermiston at 50, 48 for Tri-Cities, Connell and Prosser. We'll see 47 tonight in Moses Lake. Moving into the uh, blues there, looking towards the blues, I should say. 49 tonight, Walla Walla, 48 in Pendleton and 50 and 51 there for Dayton and Milton Freewater. Tomorrow's daytime highs again on the warm side. Say hello to the 80s. They are here. We'll stay in the mid 70s or upper 70s, I should say. Look at Dayton, close to 80 degrees. Uh, Hermiston and Prosser, just perfect weather, in my opinion, uh, down the Yakima and Kittitas Valley's 70s. Planning your day tomorrow again out the door, a little on the cool side, but look at the sunshine and clear skies all the way through the evening, close to 80 at 4. Tri Cities, a very lovely morning uh, with light winds and lots of sunshine. You'll hit 70 by noon down to, uh, or up to 80, I should say, by 4 with clear skies. Great weekend to do uh, some stargazing. Again, clear skies out the door in Walla Walla tomorrow with temperatures gradually climbing into those upper 70s down to 63 by 8 o'clock. Let's take a look at our short-term forecast for the weekend. Again, it is going to be beautiful. Soak it in. 
I think things are going to cool down and probably continue to cool down for the rest of the month. Let's take a look at Tri-Cities again. Lovely weather here, 80s, 78 on Saturday. I see people probably getting out on the river, maybe the last time of the season, unless you're a fisherman. Walla Walla, again, we'll see those uh, upper 70s, close to 80 degrees with the big shift in the weather coming next week. I'll get to your seven day planning forecast coming up. Stay with us. There's more Apple Valley news now at 630. Yeah! Carl's Jr.'s new Big Char Chili Burger is big on charbroiled flavor, big on smoky sweet heat with a whole charred Anaheim chili, and big on savings with a Big Char Chili Combo for just $7.99. Does your bath or shower need a remodel? Bathfitter can do it all. We will remove your existing fiberglass tub or shower and replace it with a custom crafted shower or soaker tub. All made in America at our state of the art factory. We rebuild your walls with new drywall and install a custom made tub or shower with seamless walls in as little as one day. All work is guaranteed and built to last. Call your locally owned Bathfitter store now to book your free in-home estimate or visit bathfitter.com. Are you looking for a bank that has traditional values and modern solutions? Are you looking for a bank that is member owned? Are you looking for a bank that leaves a lasting impact on the community? I've got news for you. You're not looking for a bank. Belong to something better. Join Hapo Community Credit Union where you are more than just a member. Visit hapo.org to join today. Where do you credit union? At Bruce Heating and Air, your comfort is our business. With over 30 years of professional HVAC experience for residential and commercial properties, you can rest assured your heating and air system is in good hands. In addition to providing quality heating, air conditioning, ventilation, and installation services, Bruce Heating and Air also houses a full-service sheet metal fabrication shop. Now, through December 31st, receive rebates up to $1,400 off on a new Daikin Fit system when you finance from Bruce Heating and Air. Terms and conditions apply. See dealer for details. Have you tried to reach your internet company lately? Your wait time will be 45 minutes. At Washington Broadband, we have techs right here in Yakima, so you have a friend to help you through your technology issues. We even have after hours help. Washington Broadband, how can I help you? In this difficult time when every other business is raising their prices, we still haven't in 28 years of serving Yakima, not even field charges. We will be your consistent local internet, Washington Broadband, your original hometown source to the world. An accident can shatter your life. The award-winning team at Tamaki Law can put your life back together. I'm attorney Jeff Kreutz. And I'm attorney Megan Changaroya. Thank you Tri-Cities for voting us best personal injury and best overall law firm. We are so honored and grateful to serve this amazing community. If you've been seriously injured, call the law firm that has served Central Washington for 30 years. Call Tamaki Law and get your life back. Yeah! Carl's Jr.'s new Big Char Chili Burger is big on charbroiled flavor, big on smoky sweet heat with a whole charred Anaheim chili, and big on savings with a Big Char Chili Combo for just $7.99. Yeah. Yeah. Operation Best Friend on Good Morning Northwest, sponsored by Wendemere Group One. Welcome back. Disney now offering special reduced price tickets for children. Disneyland tickets for children ages 3 to 9 will cost 50 bucks between January 8th and March 10th. Usually they cost 98 bucks. The specially priced tickets go on sale October 24th. Disney World in Florida will offer a discount from March 3rd through June 30th. It will offer half-off tickets and dining plans for kids when families book non-discounted four-night, four-day resort stays. You can buy those starting November 14th. We're 49 days away from Thanksgiving and 81 days until Christmas, which means holiday shopping begins soon, if not underway already. Adobe Analytics predicts record-setting holiday discounts this year. Its holiday forecast expects online holiday sales to jump nearly 5% over last year. Shoppers could see up to 35% off on toys, electronics, and apparel. According to Adobe, consumers will likely spend $221 billion online between November 1st and the end of the year. Important news for fans of Girl Scout cookies, the Raspberry Rally flavor won't be available when Girl Scout cookie sales begin in the new year. Called Rallies, they were introduced last year as a sister cookie to the iconic Thin Mints. They were first 
They were the first cookies to be sold exclusively online. Some chapters reported that they sold out of the cookies in less than a day. In a statement, the organization says they are taking a pause on the rallies so they can prioritize supplying their classic varieties. Some chapters say they will increase the price to $6 per box. We'll have a final look at your weather forecast when we come back. Join the fun at this year's Free Fall Festival, October 12th and 14th. Two days of free fun, movie night at Fairchild Cinemas in Pasco, and fun and games at Volunteer Park. Brought to you by Gisa Credit Union, Lord's Health, and Pasco Parks and Recreation. Wait, hold up. DQ put fries and onion rings in a chicken strip basket? Did you know this? Oh, of course you did. It's sitting right in front of you. Sorry. I mean, you got fries and onion rings together. Is this for real? Hey, baby, wait! Oh, wait. yep, mm -hmm. yeah, it just got really real. Grab a chicken strip and fry rings basket. Okay, just one, just one! DQ, happy tastes good. Get it delivered at DQ.com. A successful real estate transaction requires a team of professionals. At Windermere, our team consists of experienced realtors to guide you through the process. With Windermere on your side, and and confidence in your real estate journey. Businesses, community organizations, and people of all walks of life have joined together for Riverfest 2023. Riverfest is free, family fun entertainment featuring exhibitors, live music, and vendors showcasing all the benefits of our river system. Join us Saturday, October 7th from 10 to 3 at Columbia Park in Kennewick. Find out more at RiverfestWA.com or on Facebook. Riverfest 2023. Our rivers, our life. Bring the whole family. Do you see this? It says most people are going to need long-term care that health insurance and Medicare won't cover. I saw that and it got me thinking, if I need to pay for home modifications or in-home care, I am not prepared. Are you? Not really. I mean, whatever happens, I just want to know that I'll be able to get care and stay in my own home as I age. Right? I want that too. So, uh... Find out how the WA Cares Fund can help. Experience Minecraft like never before at Minecraft the Exhibition, now at the Mac. Explore the 3D world of the best-selling video game of all time and pop culture phenomenon in this dynamic and immersive exhibition. Step inside the blocky world of Minecraft based on actual in-game builds. Meet 15 life-size Minecraft creatures, including the explosive creeper and mysterious Enderman. Try the game and explore some epic creations from the community. Minecraft the Exhibition for players and non-players of all ages at the Mac in Spokane. At Bruce Heating and Air, your comfort is our business. With over 30 years of professional HVAC experience for residential and commercial properties, you can rest assured your heating and air system is in good hands. In addition to providing quality heating, air conditioning, ventilation, and installation services, Bruce Heating and Air also houses a full-service sheet metal fabrication shop. Now, through December 31st, receive rebates up to $1,400 off on a new Daikin Fit system when you finance from Bruce Heating and Air. Terms and conditions apply. See dealer for details. Portions of Apple Valley News Now, sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. Welcome back, everyone. Beautiful weather that's ahead. Stacy, tell us all about it. What can we say? It's <laughs> gorgeous out there. Look at those temperatures. A perfect weekend, in my opinion. It's going to be nice, but a big change headed our way next week with cooler temps and rain on the way. So not bad. Now, if you're looking for something to do tonight, you can join us tonight at Twigs for the Golden Bachelor viewing party. A lot of fun, tons of prizes. <laughs> it all starts at 8 o'clock. Fantastic. And thanks for watching, everyone. You can find the latest on our website, applevalleynewsnow.com. We're back tonight at 11 o'clock.